I'm coming into the stretch. That's right. I got to finish working on this costume. And I really, truly want to try and make that breastplate look kind of like it's supposed to look. So I'm going to go run over to the local um, thrift stores like Goodwill, what have you, maybe the 99 cent store. Basically, whatever I can do on the cheap and just look for any spare parts that maybe I can cut up, paint, uh, manipulate. <laughs> you know, I, I do. I, I got to go make a trip just to finish up this costume. Right, okay, so I am back and it's time to start working on this costume. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to try and finish this one by tonight, and here's my plan. I do have some material that I cut up, of course, and uh, I'm going to glue these to the material. I also have some copper wire that I'm going to try and attach somehow to the top of this material, and maybe even to that where it can connect via Velcro. Maybe even add a little there. I don't know for sure yet, because I'm do want to try and incorporate this on the back and maybe just hold it in place and uh, basically make this be like a tie on on top of the dress okay I've stretched out the material completely I'm going to use the center of it where I cut it so it goes around the bra uh, that's going to be my guideline my focal point and I'm going to be using this glue Okay, and I'll stretch out the other side and do the same thing. Okay, I'm going to let that dry and then come back and add a few more pieces. Got to figure out where I want to put them first. Trying to decide if I want it to be on top completely, all of it, or if I actually want to take it and go upside down like that. And then add... The hardware. I'm thinking it looks best on the sides. I think I like this layout better. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these to the top, glue these on, and if it comes down to it, I can always paint the material on top of everything else. <laughs> okay. I admit, by the way, you know, doing this in my bed is probably not the best place to be doing this art project, but. <laughs> It's the most comfortable for me at this point. Okay, so that's the layout I'm going to go with. It kind of looks like a heart. What do you think? Okay, I'm using this glue just to kind of put it in place. And then after it dries, I'm going to go ahead and follow it up with the hot glue gun. Okay, I'm going to let that dry now. Okay, it's almost dry enough. I'm going to go ahead and shift it over to the paper and <laughs> move it into the other room where I can use the hot glue gun. Okay, so while I'm waiting for this to dry and the hot glue gun is warming up, I'm treating myself to some chocolate chip ice cream shake. <laughs> because, you know, a watch pot never boils and, uh, well, I gotta distract myself somehow while the glue's drying. <laughs> while I'm on my ice cream break, <laughs> I decided to go ahead and just refresh my mind here what I'm going for you know clearly it's not going to look as good as this but it kind of looks like a heart it really does so I'm going to go for that effect as much as I can and I'm seeing where that wire you know that I had the copper wire it does it goes from the top of the dress to the shoulder pads so maybe I can figure that one out too and here of course you know she has a completely different outfit <laughs> so but she still has the chakra and the sword and um, yeah totally different there so uh, you know <laughs> the outfit I'm making it may not look like hers completely but it's close enough for rock and roll <laughs> Yeah, just going to reinforce it all the way around just to 
make sure it stays on, you know? <laughs> I plan on doing some dancing. Kind of 3D looking, huh? <laughs> yeah, like I said, it, it's not perfect, but it'll do the job. And uh, I'm going to go grab some paint and go ahead and go over it one more time. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just grab a little more paint just for the heck of it. Just to kind of conceal some of the glue. <laughs> Give it a, you know, a, a rustic kind of effect. Yeah, painting the material kind of blends it all together a little bit, I think. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let that dry. Okay, put a little more Velcro on this so that I can, you know, make a loop. <laughs> and I'm just testing this out, and this actually does work. Okay, it definitely works by going through a hoop. Clearly, I need to make it long enough so it can reach the breastplate. And then uh, maybe bend it right here. But definitely want to paint it. Definitely need a set of wire clippers. <laughs> Just basic copper wire. Folds real easily. Bends. And of course, you've got to test it by measuring from here to where the breastplate's going to be. I think it could work. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and paint this part. I also bent a couple more just because I think I'm going to be putting them on the side here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let this dry completely before I bring it up to my chest and see what's happening. Uh, you know, this part here, I like it. But part of me thinks, because I saw that picture, I may end up cutting this part here off and just have this part. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take this into the other room and see how it works with the dress. Okay, it looks pretty good. I think what I'm going to do is try this on with this and see how I'm going to make this connect. Looking pretty good. But I do think, yeah, I'm going to probably cut this part off just because. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and definitely cut that and that just because it'll go around a little better. That's definitely looking a little better. Okay, I've decided I'm going to go ahead and glue the parts that I cut off on the sides. And for just right now, I'm going to put a slit right next to it and thread the... Okay, ribbon. I definitely want to put like a hole up through here to do the wires through. And right now, I'm just going to tie it around and just see how it looks. Chanel, I love you. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's ready. That's ready. I still have to do a little work with that. But I think this works. You know, it definitely much better after I cut that part off. And uh, I'm definitely going to want to make this part here shorter, the, the gold wiring thing, so that it holds this up better. Okay, clearly I'm not quite done yet, but definitely almost done, so I'm getting kind of excited, of course. I'm going to go ahead and glue these on now. Ugh, ugh. <laughs> ugh. It's official. I'm almost done with this costume. <laughs> yeah, I'll finish it up tomorrow night. I'm, I'm pretty tired. I need some sleep. <laughs> i got to work tomorrow, too, so I will definitely finish this up tomorrow, though. 
Okay, back to the project. <laughs> All right, so uh, I've figured out what I'm going to do here. I'm going to make this be like a bathing suit top, in essence, because I'm going to glue this ribbon to this part here that I glued on last night. And uh, I'm going to actually put another hole here on the bottom on each side, like a bathing suit top. And then... Uh, I'm going to be connecting, of course, the wires to the bra, like this, up to the shoulder pads. Definitely the holes, the, the bikini top concept works real well. And then, of course, just thread it like you would a shoelace. Okay, now I flipped it over. I'm going to go ahead and glue this and this part of the ribbon, you know, just the edges there to that for a little extra support. Glue that down, of course, just so it's not sticking out. And, of course... A little extra support. No, it's not very pretty on the other side. <laughs> and that way when I pull on it, it'll also pull this towards my side a little more. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let this dry and come back to it later. Okay, so uh, this is the end result of making this. It's working, as you can see. I've got the copper wire going through the heart right there and going through the shoulder padding. And I, you know, tied it on like a bathing suit. <laughs> I really, I think that's the easiest way to do this, just be able to tie it on somehow. But, uh, yeah, I think this will work. Okay, I'm going to finish it off with some puffy paint. It's gold glitter, actually, because I noticed in a couple of the pictures, she has a little bit of extra gold running through it. So, we'll just give a little extra dimension. <laughs> As luck would have it, yes. I just happen to have some brown boots. <laughs> Thank goodness. But uh, I picked up these little doohickeys, they're like little foam, the strap thing. And uh, I found those over at the Goodwill, actually, in the little kids section. So I'm going to put that over the brown boots. Better work, right? It started off as a paper plate, but now it's the shock ram. <laughs> That's right, and I got the sword and the holder, made some shoulder armor complete with the copper wiring and the breastplate made out of different kids' toys that I cut up and painted and glued, and of course the armbands, what have you. But uh, I would say this costume is definitely finished. It is the Xena Princess Warrior costume. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and try it on and do what is known as a dry run. That's, you know, when you put it on to make sure it's going to be okay before you wear it out in public. <laughs> okay, I did it, right? It looks pretty close to the Xena Princess Warrior costume, I think. Uh, yeah, it'll work. Okay, so yeah, I just finished the dry run. I'm happy with the results. And, uh, you know, it took three weeks to make it, so I'm glad it turned out at least what I was kind of hoping for. Actually, I think it turned out better than what I was hoping for. <laughs> so, yeah, if, if you decide to make a Xena Princess Warrior costume and if any of my tricks helped you, let me know, okay? Outside of that, thanks for joining me in this adventure on making the Xena Princess Warrior costume. <laughs> Bye.